Well, if you couldn't tell already, we're going to be working with our new DeWalt planer here today, running some of these small ash pieces through it. And I'm really excited to get these done. It's kind of uh, poetic here because I'm putting these through it when they were some of the first things I ever put through our sawmill. There were some shorter logs that were kind of straight that I was saving for it for when I'd finally get it all assembled and put together. Now they're going to be my first test here on this planer. So I want to give you guys just a quick overview of this planer and some of the features here. Starting up here at the top, we've got these handles that move in and out on the side. That allows you to move it around if you're using it loosely like I am. It does also have the option to be mounted to a workbench, shop table. So I'll probably be making a bench for this later that gives me that option when I have some longer stuff I want to send through this and I want to hold it a little bit more still. All that I had to assemble out of the box to get going was the knob up here, which one single turn of this knob will move it by a sixteenth of an inch and move the, the head up here down. You can check that with the material removal gauge here. So just take your board once you're about the right size there and you slide it in and you can see how that, when I move it up and down, changes how much it says it's going to be taking off. So you can kind of play with that, get used to that. And they have different guidelines in the instruction manual as to how much you should take off based on how wide your board is. So good to check that out. Of course, you got your on off switch here. So pretty simple to use. And of course, it's got the feed trays here as well. And these fold up all the way, so long as your dust cover is out of the way. So that's what's around here in the back. It's the only other thing I had to assemble on this. Just get this installed back here to help guide all of those chips out the back side. So up here, you can wind your cord, or if you've got your outlet over on this side like I do, I've got it kind of mounted up along here just to keep it all out of the way so I don't have my wood getting caught on it. And this is the other tray in the back here. I haven't needed to adjust these yet, but there is a way to adjust them if they get uneven or have any problems. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and send uh, another board through here, finish cutting these up, and I'll show you kind of some of the results we get. So for this particular piece, I have already planed this side. So now what I wanna do is go ahead and get this planed. So we're gonna go ahead and take this down and put it up next to the head. We're gonna go ahead and move the head of the planer so that it fits under there. You can tell that'll be a little too loose, won't pull it through. So what I wanna do is lower that just a little bit more. And feel a little bit of a tug there. So now that I've got the head where I want it to be for this cut, I'm gonna go ahead and lock it into place. It's as simple as that. And now we'll turn it on, go ahead and send this through. And while it was close enough to pull it through, it didn't actually make any cuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower it by another Probably another two sixteenths of an inch. So that'd be two turns. So if we got to unlock the saw head, two turns, lock the saw head, now we'll send it back through. And there you go, really nice, smooth piece. It was already really straight, so wasn't too concerned about trying to straighten it out with this cut, but you can see it really cleaned it up a bit. And this is where you'd check if you have any more rough spots, you can send it through another time or two. I think I'll just lower it by 16th through one more time. Yeah, that looks really nice and smooth, really clean. Now I'm gonna flip it over and we'll go ahead and cut this side.
And there we go. So now this thing has fully been planed, really nice and smooth. And I'll probably leave it alone until I decide what I'm gonna use it for. And at that time, if I need to, I can send it back through, shorten it up a little, or maybe send it through the table saw if I want smaller pieces, and then send those through to smooth those out. But overall, just really beautiful pieces of wood coming out of this. Really pleased with how well this planer has been working for us. I'm gonna send the rest of our small lumber through and uh, then I'll show you guys all those results. And there we go, another nice, beautiful, smooth piece of lumber. So here's all the small pieces I've put through the planer so far. These first two are just over three foot long, the next two just over four foot, just over two foot on this one, and these two are both right around three foot long. A lot of them are roughly two by threes or two by fours, but the dimensions do vary a little bit there. They're not exactly what you'd find at the store, but I'm just looking for some furniture grade pieces for a couple little projects I want to do. Very excited to see how well that planer cleaned these up, just how nice and smooth these came out. So yeah, overall I'm really pleased so far with this planer, but I haven't been using it too long. If you've got one of these or you've got another model, another brand, you want to share your experiences, be sure and put those in the comments below or any tips or tricks that you've learned when using yours. If you guys want to see more of what we've been milling, you want to see more of those types of videos, be sure and check out uh, this video here next. Thanks for watching.